my name is Katie. Welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute since I've been on here, but I've just been extremely busy working on my books and trying to get them into contests and being sick and like whatever life is hitting us with. And so I'm back. I really wanted to recap Nano and I didn't even get to do that. So uh, real quick, Nano went good quote unquote. <laughs> um, feel free if you're not following me on Instagram already, I do update there a little bit more, not super much more, but a little bit. Um, I finished Project Emma, that revision, and it's with beta readers as of filming this. And I was supposed to draft a middle grade book, but um, I only did an outline, which I'm considering a win. And then my other goal was to finish um, The Summer of Risks, which was my Nano 2020 novel. Um, by the end of May. So I did that. Yay! Um, so it's with SCP right now and um, once I get her feedback and implement it, it'll go to another one and I'm just super excited about that one. I got it and Project Emma up to around like 65,000 um, give or take and uh, which I was hoping for 65 or 70 goals is at like 83 and I have no idea how but <laughs> um, I did get another full request on goals and I think a few other agents um, are about to get to it or they have skipped it and it's in their maybe pile so like fingers crossed for these books and uh, coming up I'll do another video but um, I'll be working on an adult book next so I will talk more about that and my July Camp Nano goals like a little bit later but yeah just to fill y'all in um, about Project Emma if I haven't really yet um, I redid it to make my main character a little bit more likable and a little bit more um, for the retelling that it was supposed to be for. Um, I took out a lot of factors that were in the other draft and kind of smoothed everything out. And um, I think it's a lot better. I hope it's getting closer to a querying level. Not that I'm done querying goals yet, but I just want another book ready. I tried to enter it into some mentorship contests. So it was for Write Mentor and uh, Rev Pit. And what was nice is that even though I wasn't asked for more materials, I did get feedback from one mentor or editor from each. And so one person said, I passed on your submission because other concepts caught my attention more, but there was nothing wrong with the submission. The concept sounded fun. The decision was subjective. So that means my query letter was good. My opening pages were good. It just wasn't as <laughs> captivating. I don't even want to say that. Like. <laughs> it sucks that they didn't find it that way, but I hope that an agent will. Um, the other one was kind of similar. You detail your premise really well in your letter. It's engaging and intriguing. You get straight into the action while drip feeding enough backstory to get me invested. Her only uh, note was to maybe drop in a bit more about how things ended with the love interest so that the final line really hits home and readers are rooting for their relationship from the start. And in the first draft, there was a lot more... Uh, hinting about what happened um, and I wanted someone a few people had suggested to like tease it out to make them want to read more so I know that's kind of a subjective opinion and um, I like that you're not fully aware of what happened um, because I didn't want that to be the focus of that first chapter even though that's kind of there's two promise of the premises with Project Emma and it's the matchmaking aspect and the love interest aspect. So um, yeah, we'll see what other readers think and hopefully an agent will find it intriguing enough. Um, I think retellings are in right now. A lot of them are coming out. And by right now, I mean like right now, not like two years from now when this book might get published. But um, I'm reading a lot of books. I'm trying to find a lot of books that are similar to mine so I can comp them and Kate and Waiting is one that I just finished and this one by Becky Albertalli uh, has a musical in it instead of a play but um, I really wanted to try to get this. I hope our writing styles are similar. I really love her writing as well as Sophie Gonzalez and a few others and I'm like oh my my future like my dream blurb list is getting so long for authors that I want to blurb me but um that book and a few others <laughs> a few a lot others are gonna be in a what I've read and slash what I'm reading video coming out soon but I also wanted to talk about the summer of risks which we used to be called half of my heart um, it's got all Taylor Swift references all throughout pretty much and um, it went from a um, ambiguous happy ending is that it it's like a could be could not be 
um, to a happy ever after ending. And so I think it played out really well. I love that my, my critique partner keeps telling me that my writing has grown and it's strong and she's really enjoying this. I only have it took, I was gonna say I only have one critique, but um, they've actually, two of my CPs have like been working with me on the first half of the book to even just make things make sense and have big enough stakes and like reasons and things. And so when I say she's only currently got like one thing for me, um, she's still reading it, but just to like cut out some of the deeper emotional bits in the beginning or the middle where they're like establishing a relationship. So. Um, that's, that's good. I could just really just delete it. <laughs> like, do y'all ever get those critiques where they're like, they shouldn't do this or maybe don't say this and instead of like tweaking it, you just like delete it instead. Um, I also want to talk, I don't know if y'all care about a video about, um, thin lines of reasoning, thin plot lines. Um, cause I was going to say with Kate and waiting, there were a few items that like didn't really get explained and they're kind of thin at best and you just as the reader have to roll with it or you can be a troll reviewer and leave a terrible review and I'll get to that in this video as well but um it was stuff like that that was like okay like in in all my books probably there's like a thin line of like I really hope my reader believes this or else the whole system fails <laughs> and so um I don't know if y'all want a video about thin plot threads or reasonings or um things that happened. I had to change that for Project Emma because it was originally like he turned down her um, her ask to go to the dance and someone was like that's not really strong enough for this whole like basis to be based you know this whole thing and so I changed it made it more impactful made it more memorable more 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 and so uh, I think that made it better but that was a reader calling me out and being like I don't really believe this <laughs> so um, I hope it's stronger now um, I'm really proud of that draft I made Riley more likable after my CP match uh, readers were like ah, I don't know about her um, cause she was supposed to be like tyrannical, she's supposed to have this whole character arc so I just made her like really bad in the beginning and that was just too much so <laughs> I think I toned her down and hopefully, hopefully, um, but yeah, in June I'll be working on Project Emma edits and the Summer of Risk edits after readers get through those and uh, I'll be working on some CP work so I'm really excited about that as well as all my TBR that I'll show y'all in a little bit. But yeah, I think that's all my updates on my book stuff. Also, let me know how your writing is going and if you've already started thinking about July Camp Nano like I have. I hope that y'all have a great June and happy writing.